Hello friends and family and welcome to my channel. Today I'm uh, looking at my natural rock, the thing with the natural rock and the environment we have here is that there can be a lot of old trees that don't grow that big because they don't have enough soil. So last year I built this fence and right here between is a crevice in the stone, in the rock, and in that crevice that's uh, growing a, a small self-seeded apple tree. Last year I uh, uh, cut the taproot and after that I built the wall, so I think it is a good idea now in the spring to, to move it somewhere where it can get lights and start to train it as a future bonsai. So uh, I'm gonna take you closer to look at the tree now. So as you can see, it has been growing here for a long time in just very small amounts of soil but at some point it managed to send a taproot which I cut last year that's a huge one so yeah not a lot of space to film here so I will dig up the tree and uh, get back to you on the potting bench so the the tree is up in order to make it balanced for the future, you really need to get this huge root off. So that's step number one. Strong and hard root. There you have it, doesn't feed the tree at all and uh, quite ugly, so that's it. I built this uh, training pot uh, last weekend, I think, to prepare. It's made out of uh, Siberian larch wood, so it's very durable, will not decay for a very long time and it's natural uh, Siberian larch is a quite expensive wood here but to put it into proportion this wood hasn't cost more than a one-tenth of a similar uh, bonsai pot of quality so for training this will do and it's quite cheap in comparison so i have i have this uh, uh, soil that's from my compost it's uh, basically it's a uh, compost soil mixed with a little bit of uh, bark mulch and I have this kind of mini clay balls the cheapest possible to, to add drainage to the uh, to the tree and I put some weed cloth to stop the stop the soil from escaping through the drainage holes. So
the clay balls at air and drainage, uh, but it also keep the moist, keep the water for a little bit longer. So it's all about mixing a fairly good mix. It's something that comes with experience and it's different for different environments so you, you simply need to know what suits your area and uh, your care the best way so this is what I'm doing today as to do a cheap training environment for this apple tree so most of the roots is on one side but that's that is expected from how it was growing so I'm gonna use the Use the wires to secure it from both directions. It's uh, quite a heavy tree, and I'm not sure I don't want to cut it down right now, so just have to find a way to secure it. See if this works. to find other solution here so it's obvious that I need a lot of uh, support so I will use some stainless screw and some bonsai wire to, to support it a little bit higher up so the the wire a uh, little bit higher than the future height of the tree so I don't get any damage on the part I want to keep Put one on the other side. So I'm working the soil in between the roots, making sure as much as possible has contact. I'm under the impression that this 
soil needs even more drainage so just gonna work in some more of that mini clay balls. And now when everything is good worked into the root system, I just add a small layer of bark mulch because it looks a little bit better, the only reason. So there you have it, the uh, future bonsai to be. Uh, when I'm looking at it now, uh, I'm quite sure that this is the future leader, so everything uh, above will be cut off one year from now. Uh, now uh, the situation is that it's only going to spend uh, with the best possible care for a full growing season and I uh, hope that it uh, recovers and uh, fill up that pot with uh, roots and uh, get really strong and if that's the case I will work on it uh, in a year from now. So. Uh, if you like my content, don't be uh, shy, hit that subscribe button. Thanks a lot for watching, stay home, stay safe, take care, bye.